So people were wondering about this channel, the direction of this channel, what this channel was initially about, why I posted the videos I posted, and what I'm up to. Um, first and foremost, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope everyone is having a good New Year so far. We're just, what, seven days, eight days into the new year. <clears throat> but, oh, where do I start? Um, initially, I started this channel because I enjoyed spooky stories. I enjoyed listening to horror stories and podcasts. And I loved like the true horror stories that were on the internet and especially like from reddit and it was very fun and i wanted to give it a shot just because and um i had a good time with it to be honest and i loved it right and so i wanted to continue with the channel but of course life happens and then I'm not tech savvy on how to make videos and so as time progresses it's like well why are we watching this channel you know I'm not you know savvy on YouTube videos right <clears throat> but that's besides the point um over time I did lose motivation and that's because of life problems and issues um starting with my mother's health i want to say it was a very hard journey um if you've never taken care of a parent on hospice that was dying and you have no siblings and you also don't have a father you know my father passed away in like 2006 um, and you're like the only child, you're out here fighting this on your own. I was taking care of my mother on hospice. I was her in-home nurse. It was very frightening watching her go from cooking in the kitchen and watching Lord of the Rings on TV, Netflix, having fun, moving around the house and us going out to her becoming completely bedridden to the point it's like she was a shell of her former self. Um, it was frightening. I watched her pass away right in front of me. Um, as much as I'm in denial that she passed away at the hospital, she died right there in front of me. Um, that shit is the real scary stories that people don't, you know, talk about, but that was that was hard um i felt like i lost a piece of me and then a month later this is the next reason why i just don't upload on this channel anymore a month later after she had passed away my husband that i was currently married to handed me divorce papers and <laughs> that was a kick in the balls um <laughs> I said I, I can't believe it and mind you this was in 2018 um starting from January 2018 is when her health started deteriorating my husband started leaving overseas and he wasn't home as often and uh she passed away and that was on Thanksgiving of 2018 and then December of 2018, he texted me and he said, hey, I need you to sign something. Um, this is the divorce papers. It's in a PDF and um, I just have to turn it into the judge. And I was very upset. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say upset. Upset doesn't even describe how I felt. It was just a kick in the balls and the teeth. So here comes January 2019. I had moved out 
of the apartment where she passed away because again husband and I were separated he kept going overseas he was not home and I was there to take care of my mother um the apartment was in my name and so with that being said I had someone to take over the lease that was drama so January 2019 starts and I said I have to get my life together um I am behind I need to pull my shit up by the bootstraps like when I say bootstrap and hard it was the hardest thing I had to deal with so I ended up enrolling in university and at the time I was practically homeless I was living with my cousin and um in her three-bedroom apartment and other family was living with her because they had a hard time too and it was 10 of us in a three-bedroom apartment that was hell and I had started a new job that was hectic and then here comes 2020 and we all know (laughs) the next part of the story what happened in 2020 2020 rolls around and COVID hits And it's like, damn, I can't catch a break. Mind you, I didn't catch COVID. I was okay. Um, I didn't catch COVID actually until 2022. But um, I started having health issues. Um, They thought it was my blood pressure or they thought I had a heart problem and it took over 25 ER visits to figure out what was going on with me and come to find out by the time all this happened you know I was like I can't stay in my hometown anymore I have to move I'm not getting the care I need and um, I met a lovely guy on discord and he's like well you know just move out of your hometown I know I'm 400 miles away this long distance relationship is not going to work out and I moved in with him and found a better better job okay and I started getting the health care I needed and come to find out I have autonomic dysregulation I have dysautonomia um and if you don't know what that is, it's just, it could be a, a, a number, a number of things. Um, for example, um, you know, I could stand up too fast and my heart rate would go in the 130s or I would take a shower and my heart rate would hit 150. Or if I lay down too long um, and stood up, you know, my blood pressure would skyrocket and I, w- I would start getting chills. Um, I got really cold. Um, I had hypertensive like crisis, like one after another. And so the only thing that gave me relief or it, it was to, b- to believe it or not, it was benzodiazepines. And the reason for that is they do act on the autonomic nervous system. And of course, I was constantly cold. I was sick. I had to get diagnosed at a cardiologist's office and um, unfortunately and sadly when you go to the ER about 25 times they're going to think you're a psychiatric case and that you're nuts and I hate to say that because you know there's nothing psychiatric wrong with me okay Um, but that's how they view you. Mm, the hospital staff was not nice they're not nice to people especially in the ER Um, so they'll view you as like something's wrong with you and I knew something was not wrong with me mentally Um, I wasn't having anxiety or panic attacks I would simply become too cold I stood up too fast and so finally I got the care I needed and um, the medication I have to take slows down my heart And it's, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Some days I can handle my own and some days I can't. Um, 
And now I'm in a recovery period. So as far as how this channel is going to go, I would love to continue making content. But again, I don't know where to start. I don't know what stories to tell. I don't have any ideas. Um, I really don't know how to edit videos. I look at other channels and compare myself and I'm like years behind I have nothing to really offer you all and so the only thing that I wanted to do is just come to closure and you know hey maybe in the future this channel will change I may sell it to someone I don't know um but again I still have a love for the paranormal and maybe I could see if I can, you know, do something with that on this channel. But right now, um, I'm in a recovery period of my health and I am probably not going to be living in the United States anymore um, because of the stress and the lack of access to proper care. I'm probably going to return back to Japan or Taiwan. Um, it really depends it's not like it's my first rodeo overseas and so i just feel like life overseas would be a lot better for me but i just wanted to give everyone an update i hope everybody's having a happy new year and i pray that everyone has peace and prosperity for 2024 and thank you again for everybody that stuck around on this channel I'm sorry you were expecting more, um, but if I decide to release something, I don't know what it will be, but thank you all and just have a happy new year. Bye-bye.